space, that vast realm full of more mysteries than certainties, constantly taunting those researchers who peer through telescope lenses at the immeasurable emptiness that lies beyond our atmosphere. Although new discoveries are constantly being made thanks to the constantly improving technology that we have at our disposal, these discoveries do not always provide us with exact answers about space. In fact, frequently a new discovery means uncovering even more mysterious and unanswerable questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting space discoveries. Mysterious Object on Saturn's Moons One of the things that is usually certain about the lifeless planet orbiting the Sun is the fact that things rarely change. Scientists looking at two satellite images of the same location on a distant planet, taken sometimes years apart, might find themselves playing the world's hardest game of spot the difference. However, an image taken of a lake on one of Saturn's moons caused researchers to do a double take, as a strange formation had emerged. And, in an even stranger turn of events, the formation disappeared just as suddenly as it had appeared, leaving scientists with little clue as to what it could be, where it had come from, and where it might have gone. The image was taken by NASA's Cassini probe as it circled around Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and one of the most varied landscapes of the solar system besides our own planet Earth. Larger than Mercury and over 1 billion kilometers from Earth, Titan is the only moon in our solar system with an atmosphere composition similar to Earth's, but with a much higher surface pressure. It is also the only place in the entire solar system other than Earth that has liquids, as its surface is made up of liquid hydrocarbons flowing in rivers, lakes and oceans that can reach hundreds of kilometers across and hundreds of meters deep next to rolling dunes and mountains. It was in one of these lakes that the white blob appeared in the northern hemisphere of Titan. The lake in question is called Ligaea Mare and is estimated to be over 150 meters deep, with the strange formation measuring around 19 kilometers wide and 9 kilometers deep and materializing about 10 kilometers off the shore. Interestingly, the mysterious figure was absent in satellite images taken just 16 days after the initial photo. Although Titan's lakes are generally totally smooth due to the lack of wind in its atmosphere, it is thought that the formation could be initial deep-sea waves as Titan's northern hemisphere begins to slowly rotate closer to the sun. Other theories include floating icebergs, a rush of bubbles or matter being released from deep within the stagnant sea, or something suspended in the liquid below the surface. However, as the formation was absent from subsequent photos taken of the location, scientists are forced to theorize based on just one image, meaning that unless it mysteriously reappears again, we may likely never know exactly what it was that was changing on such a static planet. What made the discovery so interesting is that planetary scientists believe that, if there truly is life somewhere outside of Earth's atmosphere, then they will find it lurking deep in the lakes, rivers and oceans of Titan. Because of the interesting composition of Titan, there is a possibility that any existing life on the surface of this moon could be very chemically different from life on Earth. So scientists study any changes or outlying formations on the surface of Titan very closely. Although this discovery left us with more questions than answers, perhaps it is the next step in discovering life outside of our Earth. A mysterious metallic mass on the dark side of the Moon You're probably aware that the Moon is rather large, but how big is it really? To give you some perspective, experts recently discovered a mysterious metallic mass on the dark side of the Moon that is approximately five times the size of Hawaii's Big Island. The mass is better described as an enormous crater that was imprinted into the surface of the Moon billions of years ago. It's believed to have happened when the Moon's surface has cooled enough for the crater to leave its mark. Now you may be wondering, how on Earth did NASA discover this mass in the first place? They were able to use data from their Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory mission, as well as the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Topography. 
they were reviewing their previous calculations of the crust of the crater's thickness and density when they stumbled upon the formerly unknown mass. From the surface, it isn't obvious, but it's dragging down the landscape and is known as a central depression. This information has led to information surrounding the interior of the moon and scientists are at work to unravel even more. Understanding how this mysterious mass came to be could be the beginning of truly understanding how the moon was formed, as well as provide information about how other celestial bodies grow. There are already multiple trips to the moon in the planning stages and this area has become a new target. Getting up close and personal with the unknown mass is the best way to provide experts with more information. The mission had previously collected new information surrounding the gravitational field to understand what's happening on the surface and underground. Whilst they've been able to gather this data, there's still a lot we don't know yet. With the information experts currently hold, there could be two explanations for this unusual mass. One possibility is that when the moon's ancient magma oceans were cooling, dense oxides could have formed creating the mass we see today. With that being said, scientists aren't sure that would have happened on that layer of the crater. Looking for another possible explanation, they reasoned that the mass could be the result of an ancient impactor. It's believed that the impact could have created a hole that then partially filled with molten rock. NASA still can't be certain as to how the mass appeared, but future trips to the moon will help the experts in exploration of the mysterious mass and potentially collect evidence to answer the question. This discovery has only led humankind to think more about the creation of all planets in our solar system, considering how small rocks and foreign objects most likely smash into each other, slowly creating larger rocks. It's easy to feel lost in it all, but we're on the road to closing the gap and finding what we're looking for. Instant millionaire when football-sized meteorite crashes through Indonesian coffin maker Joshua Hatagalung was furnishing coffins when a cosmic rock the size of a football came smashing through the tin roof of his North Sumatran home. It fell from the sky with such force that it burrowed another six inches through the floor and beneath the house. The sound was so loud it caused parts of the house to shake and the rock was still warm to the touch when he pulled it from the earth. A Tagalung hoped it was a good sign from above and immediately updated his Facebook status saying, Suddenly, a black rock fell from the sky, but whatever it is, hopefully a good sign for our family. He could not have possibly predicted what an incredible blessing had just come crashing into his home. He was unaware of the rock's value, so he decided to get it inspected and appraised by professionals. After meeting with a specialist collector, he discovered that his cosmic rock was considered one of the most valuable materials known to scientists. While most meteorites are valued between 50 cents and $5 a gram, there are a select few that can sell for $1,000 a gram or more. As it would turn out, the Tangalungs was the latter. His rock was estimated to be about 4.5 billion years old, making it one of the most significant meteorites to date. It was identified as CM1-2 carbonaceous chondrite, an extremely rare meteor type that is said to contain the clues to unlocking the creation of life in the universe. His meteorite was valued at $857 per gram, but Hatagalung had no intention of selling the meteorite in pieces. Jared Collins, a United States-based meteorite expert, heard about the rock from halfway around the world and ended up buying it for $1.85 million or £1.3 million. Pounds. Thomas Jamaluddin, head of the National Aeronautics and Space Agency in Lapan, Indonesia, claims the statistical improbability of the rock landing in a residential area is staggering. More often than not, these meteorites crash into the sea or get lost in forests or deserts. Luckily for Joshua, it landed directly in his home, and later, three more fragments were found in the fields nearby. The father of three plans to use the funds to build a church and would love to add a fourth child to his family as well. Scientists have seen a mystery orbit in space that could solve a puzzle about black holes. 
black holes have gripped the minds of great intellectuals for decades, yet exciting revelations are still occurring, giving us more clues to the constantly growing puzzle. Recent discoveries have given more answers to the mass gap. Scientists have previously operated under the assumption that the maximum mass of a neutron star, the celestial body that may develop into a black hole, was 2.5 solar masses, or 2.5 times the mass of the Sun, and that the minimum mass of a black hole was 5 solar masses. This left an uncertain gap, and the space between 2.5 and 5 solar masses that was not accounted for and so became known as the mass gap. Until recently, the mass gap was a relatively theoretical issue, as no objects that fell within this class had been discovered. An object discovered in August 2019, reported on in June 2020, has been found to weigh 2.6 solar masses, prompting the question, is this the lightest black hole yet to be discovered, or the heaviest neutron star? Professor Vicky Caligera of Northwestern University commented that we've been waiting decades to solve this mystery. She emphasizes that regardless as to the ultimate class of the object in the mass gap, the discovery breaks a record. The signals picked up that alerted physicists to the discovery were created through the merging of the strange object with a black hole at a staggering 23 solar masses. This prompted a series of gravitational waves throughout space, which were detected in our observatories on Earth. LIGO referred to this signal as highly unusual prompting further study and research. The two bodies interact in an unexpected way, shedding an element of uncertainty on the once presumed to be accurate understanding of black hole formations. More observations and data collection will need to take place in order to confirm this. This information will presumably be gathered through the use of light-based telescopes. The questions that are now being tackled following the discovery of this object at 2.6 solar masses are why has it been so difficult to locate items within the mass gap if they are out there? Is the mass gap real at all? Are the measurements for the mass gap incorrect? And how are neutron stars and black holes truly formed? Has our understanding of this celestial phenomena changed? The light emissions, whilst limited due to the object becoming engulfed by the black hole, are being tracked from the Virgo and LIGO observatories. Though the apparent destruction of the mass gap object means only a minor observation could be noted. As technology advances, we can only hope to discover more objects within space like this, as we strive to ask more questions and gain more answers. From the exciting revelation of new items to discoveries that make us question what we already know, the searching and exploring of space is never-ending. We can only hope to find answers to the puzzles out there and continue to make our way through the universe. NASA launched an atomic clock into space. Atomic clocks have been hailed as the superior method of timekeeping since the 1950s due to their incredible accuracy even over extremely long periods of time. Where pendulums and quartz crystal clocks develop discrepancies and can vary between devices, atomic clocks use the frequency of electrons vibrating back and forth when exposed to radio waves, which is an almost impossibly precise method of measurement and one that allows GPS satellites to pinpoint locations with nearly complete accuracy. These GPS satellites work by using an atomic clock to measure the amount of time it takes for a signal to travel between two points, a necessarily precise science in space travel where the difference of a single second can mean either landing on Mars or ending up hundreds of thousands of miles away. However, one limitation of the atomic clock is space. Each clock paired with the GPS satellite is about the size of a refrigerator and must remain on Earth when navigators use its measurements to triangulate the location of spacecraft and then communicate instructions to the astronauts on board. It is a time-consuming process and limits the distance of missions, as spacecraft must remain within range of the GPS satellites and Earth. An on-board atomic clock would mean that the astronauts could calculate their own trajectory, rather than relying on communication from Earth for direction. However, the current design of an atomic clock is too bulky and will not stand up to the changing environment of space travel, which limits the possibilities of astronauts exploring deep space. Until recently, there has been no reliable method for keeping time while outside of Earth's gravitational pull. 
In June of 2019, NASA placed their newly developed Deep Space Atomic Clock on a spacecraft to orbit Earth for a year. The Deep Space Atomic Clock was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and has been in experimental orbit since June as they test its accuracy over extended periods of time outside of Earth's controlled environment. If the timekeeping remains unaffected by the conditions of space, the Deep Space Atomic Clock will be the first atomic clock with the design and functionality to pioneer expeditions in the cosmos. Current measurements estimate that the clock, which is powered through mercury-ion technology, is 50 times more stable than current atomic clocks on GPS satellites and will lose one second every 10 million years. If it upholds these measurements as it orbits on the spacecraft, independent space travel could be much closer than we think. Increasing technology has allowed us to increase our understanding of the galaxy and has answered many questions that were previously thought unanswerable. However, the longer we observe the cosmos around us and the further we venture into those mysterious depths, the more we realize how very little we truly understand and grasp about the mechanics of space. Perhaps one day we will be able to locate alien life, or even establish colonies on other planets. But even then, we may never know exactly how many more mysteries lie hidden within the immeasurable expanse of the Milky Way and beyond. But what do you make of these fascinating space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.